Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good evening, you're watching the news from the South and Ottoman television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos sends condolences to the President of Indonesia on the victims of the passenger plane that fell in the Java Sea. Oman Company for Tourism Development Imran reveals that it introduces the three sub companies concerned with the developing heritage, recreational, and exhibition tourism. Information Technology Authority signs a deal to establish a national laboratory for digital evidences to combat uh, cyber crimes. And Municipal Council of the Governorate of South Sharqiyya acquaints uh, with planned projects to develop Ras al Had area. Good evening once again and thank you for joining us. Those were the headlines and now the news in details. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a cable of condolences to His Excellency President Joko Widodo of Indonesia on the victims of the plane that fell in the Java Sea. His Majesty the Sultan has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Field Marshal Umar Hassan Ahmed al-Bashir of Sudan on his country's independence anniversary. His Majesty also sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Raul Castro, Chairman of the Council of State and Council of Ministers of Cuba, on his country's National Day. And His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has received a cable of thanks from His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabra Sabah, Amir of the State of Kuwait, in reply to His Majesty's cable of condolences on the death of Sheikha Sheikh Sabah Al Nasr Al Sabah. In an exclusive uh, statement to Sultanate of Oman Radio and Television Chief Executive Officer of Oman Company for Tourism Development, Emran, confirmed that company's projects uh, will not stop during the year 2015, adding that the company is obliged by projects that have already awarded uh, those uh, which will be announced soon, such as tenders of various hotels, including conferences center and exhibitions, Project. Uh, these uh, projects are for a long run and will be in addition to the economy with the aim for diversifying the economy since uh, tourism is a promising sector. Chief Executive Officer of Oman Company for Tourism Development, Imran, revealed that the company is in the process of undergoing complete restructuring. In an interview with Al Watan newspaper, engineer Wail bin Ahmed Al Lawati said that three sub companies will be announced in January, stressing that one of these companies will work to develop heritage sites, the other one will, concern, will be concerned for developing tourism projects, and the third will manage the sites. He also mentioned that the company will transform its attention from hotel projects uh, to developing in new concepts in tourism such as conferences, tourism, exhibitions and recreational tourism. Information Technology Authority ITA signed with Security and Internet Authority for Korea and a dozen ISA's company of Korea to establish a national laboratory for digital evidences. The lab will aim to deal with digital criminology evidences uh, resulted from e-crimes which may affect uh, state's institutions in addition to qualifying personnel of law applying institutions and investigative bodies in dealing with those crimes, ways of extracting them analyzing and presenting them before courts and judicial entities in a way that will enable them to issue rulings in cases related to information technology and telecommunications. Adding to higher studies program at higher institutes for judiciary topped discussions of the second meeting of the year of the institute's board of directors. 
The meeting also approved exchange of scientific letters and academic experiences related to legal form with Sultan Qaboos University, in addition to cooperation in the same field with universities, institutions and institutes from within and outside the Sultanate. The board also looked into biannual publication included scientific articles in legislations and judiciary in addition to institutes activities. The meeting was presided over by His Excellency Sheikh Abdul Malik bin Abdullah Al Khalili, Minister of Justice and Chairman of the Board of Higher Institute for Judiciary. Activating the aspects of joint cooperation between the Sultanate and Iran was the core of the meeting between their excellencies, the chairman of the Shura Council and the chairman of the National Archives of Iran. It came within the visit of the Iranian delegation to Council of Oman Halls. More details in the following report by Saif bin Khalfan Al-Kindi. The visit of His Excellency, the chairman of the National Documents Authority of Iran to the Shura Council aims at enhancing and strengthening ties between the two countries in terms of exchanging knowledge and document preservations. During the visit, His Excellency Khad bin Hilal al mawli Chairman of Shura Council, briefed the Iranian guest with the main legislative authorities given to the members and how the works of documentary field go smoothly in the Council. Furthermore, he was also briefed on the methods used by the Secretary General staff when dealing with official documents for their daily needs. His Excellency, the chairman of the Iranian Document Authority, mentioned that many Arabic documents are available in the Iranian archives and could be as a result used by Omani scholars and for many academic purposes. His Excellency Said Saleh Amiri pointed out. It is a significant visit for both countries as we aim at exchanging experience in methods of preserving documents and ways of keeping such important archive for academic purposes and for researchers. We call for more collaborative work between the Sultanate and Iran in different social, touristic and exhibitions fields. Meanwhile, His Excellency Dr. Hamad bin Mohammed Dawiani, Chairman of the National Records and Archives Authority, declared that the National Records and Authorities is responsible of organizing and managing records and archives. Dr. Dawiani pointed out. <laughs> The authority mainly oversees the development of records and archive fields, technical supervision of organization of the public, current and intermediate records in the concerned bodies. Moreover, it seeks to collect, arrange and preserve the archive collections. The guest and his delegations were also briefed on the vision of the Sultanate in terms of documentary work. It's mainly laying a documentary system based on scientific grounds contribute to the organization of document management in government entities and is working to develop the field of documentations and promotion and working to good use and to encourage scientific research and intellectual and artistic creativity. You're watching the Sultanate of Oman television and still to come in our news bulletin, program My Health is My Sport is continued in the Ministry of Sports Affairs in the Governorate of North Ashurkiya. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. 
The Spatial Economic Zone at Dupum is exerting its utmost efforts to overcome obstacles facing investors. More than 190 investment requests in the Spatial Economic Zone in Dupum from the start of this year till November 2014 were received. In addition to that, 20 agreements were signed for and served contracts and to develop lands located in this zone, besides various requests being measured to be signed concerning allocating lands to local investors investors in the Sultanate after showing their interest of investment in the special economic zone in Dukhum. At the beginning of 2015, Dukhum refinery project will commence, uh, or will commence work as well as the project of natural gas supply and railway project in addition to implementation of the rest of the packages of setting up trading uh, port, internal roads, as well as uh, expansion of water distribution network, electricity network, wastewater, liquid and lose substance pier terminal buildings for Dukum Airport and Seaport. Moreover, government and private sectors' investments in a Dukum economic zone registered more than 2 billion Omani rials. The portion of government was 1,700 million rials, whereas private sector investment amounted to more than 300 million Omani rials. Dry Dock to achieve a breakthrough for its maintenance of 300 ships of different size and types during 2014, including transferring container ship to oil carriers. The Ministry of Endowments and Religious Affairs held a ceremony to honor contributors and collaborators with the media campaign for zakat or alms giving organized by the ministry. And the campaign reflected an integration in government and private sectors uh, efforts, whether media institutions or Islamic banks, as well as individuals or companies. The ceremony was presided over by His Excellency Sheikh Dr. Kahlan bin Nabhan Al Kharusi, assistant uh, of the Grand Mufti of the. Sultanate. The total cost of traded value of real estate in the Sultanate recorded at the end of September 2014 has registered a noticeable growth by 55.7%, amounting to 2.27 billion Omani rials compared to the same period last year, which was 1.5 billion rials. The Real Estate Activity Report issued by the National Center of Statistics and Data indicated that there is a rise of the traded value of the recorded sales contracts at the end of September by 82% in the same period of 2013. Aldiar Qatari Company for Real Estate Investment stressed that developing Ras Al Had project will start in the determined period and the company is committed with all international specifications and standards in establishing this project. It came through the virtual show which the company presented in front of the Municipal Council in the Governorate of South Sharqiyah in its 10th meeting. The Municipal Council also discussed report of fish oil production and the residential plots in the wilaya of Jalan, Bani Bu Ali. Municipal Council in the Governorate of Musandam discussed in its 10th meeting a number of development topics. His Excellency Sayyid Khalifa bin al mirdas al busaidi Governor of Musandam, headed the meeting. The Municipal Council also discussed proposal of social communication strategy and established a company to transport passengers to contribute in activating tourism development and expand banking business system in the Governorate of Musandam. With the aim to introduce the safety tools to fishermen, the Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth signed an agreement with Oman Shipping Company to finance the project of distributing safety kit for the fishermen of the Governorate of South and North Al-Batina. It aims to change the attitude of fishermen towards marine safety tools and the importance of keeping them in their boats. It was signed by His Excellency Dr. Hamad bin Saeed al Ufi and the Secretary at the Ministry of Fisheries, Wealth and by Tariq bin Mohammed al Junaidi, Chief Executive Officer of the company. Public Authority for Crafts Industries in the Governorate of South Al-Batina held a celebration to mark the graduation of Crafts Women Badge in wood, silverware, 
cotton and pottery industries. These uh, training programs contributed in providing the market with uh, qualified cadres in crafts production. The participants in this two-month uh, training expressed that it was a great opportunity for them to improve their talents and abilities in crafts uh, fields. The end, 60 crafts women were honored. Enhancing social and voluntary work and find real partnership among institutions and individuals of the society, activities of the first social work forum was launched in the wilaya of Ibri. The forum aimed to raise social care level in the wilayas of the Governorate of al -Zahira. His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Saeed al kalbani Minister of the Social Development, presided over the ceremony. The two-day forum included three work papers on social works. Within the context of acquainting with advantages of human resources management system, Maurid, Office of Ministries of State and Governor of al Dhafar, organized in cooperation with the Minister of Civil Service a discussion workshops to acquaint with the system applied by the Minister of Civil Service. It was held under the auspices of His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Saif al Mahruqi, Deputy Governor of the FAR. It is an e system link. Uh, government units with each other provides facilities and advantages to save times and efforts at all administrative levels. My Health is My Sport, a program is continued by the Department at the Ministry of Sports Affairs in the Governorate of North Sharqiyah. It came to highlight its social role through numerous sports and health activities amid interaction among the society's members. It also aims to upgrade awareness level on the sports to keep human health and behavior. And now for the general weather forecast, uh, clear skies will prevail over the southern it with chances of scattered rain fall in the governorates of Musandam and coastal areas overlooking Sea of Oman and chances of low clouds and fog in the governorates of Al Buremi, Al Zahira and Al Wusta. Winds will be northwestly light to moderate. Seas will be moderate along the areas overlooking Sea of Oman with a maximum wave height of 1. 0.5 meters, while along the rest of the southern coast it will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters. This is the Sultan of Oman Television, and before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos sends condolences to the President of Indonesia on the victims of passenger plane that fell in the Java Sea. Oman Company for Tourism Development, Imran, reveals that it introduces the three sub-companies concerned with developing heritage, recreational and exhibition tourism. Information Technology Authority signs a deal to establish a national laboratory for digital evidences to combat cyber crimes. And Municipal Council of the Governorate of South Sharqiyah acquaints with planned projects to develop Ras al Had area. With that, we come to an end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, it's good night.